welcome to a crafty corgi i'm jenny and today we're going to be working on another watercolor silhouette project um, last week i did a harry potter watercolor silhouette project and this week we're going to do alice in wonderland one of my absolute favorite disney movies um, the original one was done in i believe 1956 and i must have seen it hundreds of times so this is near and dear to my heart if you enjoy this project, please do me a big favor and hit that like button down below as it helps my channel greatly. Also, make sure you subscribe. All right, so let's talk about supplies for a second. First of all, just so you know, I don't receive any type of monetary compensation or kickbacks for any of these products that I recommend. I just like them. Today I'll be using my Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors and a Daler Rownie black ink as well as some paintbrushes, so let's get to it. So I just did a very simple watercolor background for this and then I drew some pencil sketches on here for my silhouettes um, that I'm going to end up painting in black to look like silhouettes. So obviously Alice in Wonderland theme um, and it's like she's falling down the rabbit hole and all these little knickknacks are falling down with her and it just makes for a really cute little easy watercolor painting. This isn't a real difficult painting to do. Um, I create the effects with the, um, or the water disperses almost like starburst by just splashing plain clean water onto your wet painting. And then, like I said, sketched out a bunch of these designs and I'll improvise as I go. And this is where I'm going to use my Daler Rownie black ink. I love using this ink for this project. It works out really great. I'm also using some Princeton round snap paintbrushes in size six and two slash zero and i'll play some music while we watch this all come together <laughs> Now 
Now at this point of the project, I realized I was missing something very important. Our lovely Cheshire Cat. I had to add him in here down at the bottom. So let's get to it. <music> I've removed the tape now and we have our finished project. I don't know about you, but this is probably one of my favorites. I think it's just my immense love for Alice in Wonderland and the magical fantasy world that it is. And then I just love this silhouette watercolor painting. Thank you again for so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And if you enjoyed it, please remember to hit that like button down below and subscribe so that you can be made aware of all future videos coming down the pipe. I plan on doing a lot more of these silhouettes. I've got some Beauty and the Beast ideas, Cinderella, Snow White, of course more Alice in Wonderland, and I'm sure I'm going to throw in some more Harry Potter. Um, so again, if you haven't seen that other Harry, po Harry Potter silhouette video, check that out on my channel. Um, I posted that last week, and thank you so much. Have a crafty day.